Hi, I'm Orlando Sentinel Technology columnist Eitan Horowitz. This week, I've got probably what's the second most anticipated cell phone of the year, the T-Mobile G1. But you've probably heard it called something else, the Google phone. That's because this phone is the first to carry the Google Android mobile operating system, which is a big deal because it's completely open source. Now on the surface, this phone looks a lot like other touchscreen phones, but when you slide the screen up, it reveals a keyboard inside. So unlike the iPhone, you have a couple of options for how you uh, dial calls. You can dial them on screen with the virtual dialer or on the keypad. There's also several buttons for doing things like web browsing or clicking links. If your fingers are a little big or you have trouble clicking on uh, touching some of the links, there's a scroll bar here that you can use to select items. Now some people might not like this feature right here, which has been dubbed the Leno chin because it kind of juts out. I actually found it to be a little hard to type on it. Um, another thing about this phone is because it carries Google's name, it has a lot of the Google features that many people already use, like Gmail, um, Google Documents, Google Reader, and YouTube. However, if you have another email account, like Yahoo or Hotmail, it doesn't really work with that unless you pay for a premium account. The other thing about Android is that it's designed to be more like a computer operating system than a cell phone operating system. So there are uh, nice menus on screen. You can do things like switch between applications, have them running at the same time, and even copy and paste links, something you can't do right now with the iPhone. Now, like the iPhone, there are a number of apps. Uh, Android calls it the Android market that you can download. One of them that I'm going to show you that's pretty cool is will help you while you're shopping. Say you're in uh, Best Buy or Circuit City and you're shopping, and you see this Wii game, Mario Kart Wii. So here it sells for $49.99, and you wonder if that's a good price or not. So with a couple of applications, there's actually several that do this. One is called Shop Savvy. You open it up, and what you do is you tell it that you want to search for a product, and what you do is you point your phone's camera at the barcode, and then it scans it. Let's see, and once it registers it, it just did, it tells you what the product is, as well as what the prices are online, and lets you touch to see those websites and actually go there if you want to buy it. And it also uses the GPS built in your phone to tell you what stores nearby have it and what price they sell it for. And from there, you can get directions and even phone numbers for those stores. Now, the phone will cost $179 with a two-year contract from T-Mobile, and it comes out on Wednesday. For the Orlando Sentinel, I'm Eitan Horowitz.